So, welcome back. Good to see your beautiful face again. And today is going to be challenge raffle day. Now, I only have one challenge raffle. And, uh, well, we could either complete it or not. I could potentially get like a six roll and then we just don't complete it. And which would be pretty sad. Uh, I just haven't killed, I guess, enough mobs to, to grant another raffle uh, ticket. So, unfortunately, that's the case. Um, so we're going to get this done and then we're going to talk a little bit about how I'm going to be reconfiguring this thing. And I promise it's not going to take that long. We're going to run more vaults. Uh, but this guy, I think I have a solution on how to fix it. Uh, we're going to lay everything flat. <laughs> everything is going to lay flat and uh, we're going to make it much smaller and hopefully avoid any of the issues that I'm currently having with this gantry system. And I know a lot of people mentioned configuring this thing and all kinds of stuff. But we're going to talk about that here in a, in a little bit. This is, uh, yeah, this will be fun. So let's go ahead and uh, just run this vault. Yeah, I do want to put afterlife on it. And uh, once we have that, we should be set. You never know with this afterlife. You got to get this on these. So we're going to set that. Set that. And now we are ready to go after CPK. This is going to be fun. Oh boy. All right, so first things first, I'm, I'm just prepping. I'm hoping that this is going to work. I, I'm, I, I don't need anything special, I don't think. I think we're gonna be good just as is. Yeah, I think we're literally ready. Uh, you know what, I may charge this just in case we get the vault and it doesn't have anything, like we, we can't fight the boss. I do want to be able to at least mine out the uh, the vault. All right, so moment of truth. Here we go, and may the vault gods be ever in our favor. Oh boy, crowded, speedy. We're getting here before the chunks even get a chance to load. There's our first obelisk. We have several obelisks. This may or may not be possible. It may or may not be. We have five to get. I've done it on a four and was pretty close. But like five obelisks, that's pushing it. Oh man, and we have an X marks the spot room. Luckily, these vaults always seem sort of smaller. I don't know if that's true. I don't actually think that's true. <laughs> All right, here's our next obelisk. That's obelisk number two. Oh boy. You've already almost made a full circle around this vault. Oh boy, there's our third obelisk. If this was a three obelisk run, we would have it. But we're just not that lucky, I don't think, on this one. There's another obelisk. There's no way. There's no way we're going to be able to get this. We're two minutes. We literally just need one more obelisk. And I see it. It's up ahead. It's up ahead. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, boy. I'm activating, I'm activating. We're doing this. It might be happening on a five obelisk run. Execute. Yes, did we do it? We did it with three minutes and 35 seconds. You gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Woo, that was stressful. That has my blood pumping right now. My nerves <laughs> are, are on fire. Oh, that, that was insane. That, you gotta, you gotta give me props on that one. Five obelisk in under three minutes. Or, or not under three minutes, three minutes in what? 35 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a tough one to beat. So now that we're out, let's see what we got in our crate. I mean, that was that was too good. 
Let's uh, let's get a relic. Come on, give me give me something good. We got a relic booster pack. Ooh, we got a stew. You can't beat that. And uh, four mod boxes. Wow. All right, all right. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, we got an emote, but not the one we need. Oh, man, not the one we need. We need uh, the Bible thump emote, which is the one that we uh, we actually need, which is the pig that's crying, the the binding of Isaac. Well, I say a pig that's crying because I haven't. Even <laughs> it's a pig crying, but it's actually it's Isaac crying. Uh, from the Binding of Isaac game. All right, let's go ahead. Pull these out. Did we get anything good? Oh, we got a tier two right there. So we will be opening some gear as well. Look at the burgers and stuff that we got from this. Um, I went through. Yeah, and I'm, I'm starting to slowly smelt down all of my gear that, as you can see, has no modifiers underneath them. Um, th this gear does have a modifier of some sort underneath. So it is kind of useful for making like artisan scrolls and stuff. So I am keeping all of that gear. Um, and then, of course, all of my new gear is going here. I think this is uh, all regular gear. And then tier two gear is going up here. So I'm, I'm working my way through this. I'm getting through this. There we go. All those mod boxes, which are fantastic. I might actually open some of those today. And uh, there we go. So we have our challenge vault completed for today. Now, let's have some fun and let's figure this thing out. Oh boy. Um, now, some things that I did learn. I did learn uh, from the comments and everything. Uh, I totally forgot that you can use a redstone signal to power this. And when you do that, it changes uh, it changes this thing a little bit. Um, it does a few different things. Um, so you could technically have uh, another gantry carriage connected to this right here, and it could actually lift another gantry on its own, like going up and down. It's kind of cool. Uh, there's so many different things you can do with this. Uh, what I need is I need to get this all the way back down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear these trees that are probably causing the problem. Almost guaranteed that these are probably causing issues. And uh, I've got some rearranging of this thing to do. So as far as design goes, I'm hoping this works. I have flattened everything out. And, and believe me, it is a weird looking contraption. Um, this is technically glued to this. Like, it doesn't look like it's glued, but it is glued to this, so the saws are connected to the deployers. And whenever I do activate this, the deployers, believe it or not, can place saplings in this, uh, sort of direction. So, the only thing I need is a repeater. And I should be able to turn this on the same way I had it. Um, let's go ahead and get a button first. And then we'll activate this right on top just to get it going. And right now it's doing the connections. And I went ahead and just made it so this is an entire platform so it can place on. I'm, I'm hoping that with it being this way, it'll have a higher chance of just growing the saplings. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this goes. And hopefully it won't get like trapped. But if it does get trapped, like the other trees that grow next to it, um, it should allow it to, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to change this. It should allow the other side over here, like, to grow next to it, and then, like, if it does grow into it, hopefully, the other trees that grow near it will allow it to all break down at once, because that's, that's how this whole thing works. And as you can see, there's one just grew right there. Um, I do have to extend this out a little bit. Actually, I might just re replace this by two blocks I might just remove this on this end but yeah this is going to start spinning the other way it does have a long cycle just to make sure it gets through all the trees but there it goes it's going to go through that log chopping the whole tree down plus if there was anything else connected to it it would chop that all down and there we go it's all flat now that sort of solves that entire problem that I had with this originally and hopefully this is a much better tree farm so now that that is fixed, it's looking fantastic, by the way, and it is working really good. I need to farm some more jungle saplings, so we make sure we get those jungle logs in. But I did want to talk about a few things. Um, last Thursday, I uh, I live streamed. I streamed over on Twitch. I do stream over on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays normally. And, uh, well, we ran basically three vaults that were not copious. We did get this one that has copious on it, but I had some crystals. And uh, we ended up running some crystals that had um, 
the rich and plentiful on them. So it was rich and plentiful, and we ran, I think, three or four of them. And, uh, of course, during one of them, we ended up getting a mine room. And that was crazy, crazy. However, I did lose my trash tank, so I have remade my trash tank. It's just empty now, so I have to reconfigure my trash tank. Um, but look at the ores. Look at the ores. We already have 967 more Laramar ore. <laughs> 964 Beniatite ore. Yeah, our ore is looking fresh. Look at that 105 black opal, which was what I was running out of. Yeah, we, we're looking good. So, uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. Today, we are probably going to end up breaking a lot of those crystals. But first, I think we should run an architect vault. Yes, seal of the architect. This is what we're going to run now. Um, I know that you can put modifiers on this, I believe, after it's done or before? Is it before? I'm, I'm so c confused. Is it before? Let me check. I put this on here. No. I think we can put modifiers on after. Uh, and I want to make sure that we put very specific modifiers if we do. So we can go ahead and build a vault. So this is set. Yeah, now we can apply modifiers to this. Um, so my goal is to hopefully set something up that's not too bad. Um, I would love for us to have uh, like more like luck and stuff on here because I feel like these build vaults end up leading me more, not so much towards ore rooms, but they, they end up leading me towards um, other things like uh, like a lot of chests and things like that. So the more luck we can get, the better. Uh, the more gilded we can get, the better. And hopefully we can get a lot of vault diamonds out of this. That would be really nice. First modifier I am taking. Yes, enlist. Enlist, entrapped. Like, I have no problem with it being trapped. We're going to probably be able to fix that. But my goodness. Yes. Then, of course, I might as well throw on a, a free gilded modifier. Why not? And then I'll hit this with a super lucky and difficult. And then, of course, hitting it with that safe zone. And you've got to be kidding me. There's a luckier freezing and slowed, but, like, we have a slowness immunity. So, like, the freezing doesn't really bother us. Yes, luckier and super lucky. What is even going on here? Oh, my gosh. I literally just rolled an optimistic on a single modifier. This is going to be such a long vault. Five plus ten. We have plus 15 minutes on this thing. Of course, minus two minutes. That's going to be over a 30 minute long vault already based on that. That's insane. So I think I'm ready for this. This is going to be a build a vault, an architect vault that is endless, trapped, hunger, gilded, super lucky, difficult, safe zone, fast, luckier, freezing, slowed and optimistic giving us 15 minutes. I did look at everything else. I have one that prevents slowness, hunger, and wither. So we are completely fine with this. Um, and we should have no problems running this vault. And it's extended, which means we will probably get to see some of the benefits, some of the uh, extra rooms. And with that lucky, oh, that's going to be so nice. And the potential for gilded and all kinds of fun stuff that we can encounter during this vault. I'm so excited for this. I'm ready to run it. All right, let's, oh boy, let's let's do this. I hope I have everything ready to go. And, uh, oh, one thing I do need to go ahead and, and modify that. Set this to that. Probably ender pearls. And uh, let's do this. Oh boy. One thing I almost forgot. I do need to clear set. And, uh, Make sure we know where home is. This area is so confusing for me. Let's go ahead and activate this. Oh my gosh, a dragon's lair. Um, West. Yes. I need to make sure to read these 100% before just jumping in. But yeah, I also know that that is void fluid down at the bottom. Oh, and we get a Grant's 25% chest rarity during this run as well. That's going to be fun. So yeah, first room. 
is a dragon's lair. That's right. Get rid of these spawners. That's going to really help. And I'm collecting all the goodies for sure. So now for this, um, this is going to be something that I have to retrash. So thankfully I have a little bit of time to be able to do this. But yeah, these all have to be retrashed. So that way when I use this, as you can see, everything goes into that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this just so we see. So we have double crowned, um, which is not too bad. That's just for that. Let's go south. And that is apparently going to be a double uh, double crowded just for that area. All right, so we're heading south and uh, look what the random room ended up bringing us. Very nice. So we have Aquarium or we have Wild West or we have minus 30 seconds uh, for 15 seconds on the vote lock. Let's do West. The Aquarium, yeah, we would get more ores, but I'm not super, super worried about ores. But as you can see, we have that double crowded. It's kind of awful. <laughs> not gonna lie here. All right, so we're leading West. And this bad boy should be open and ready to see where we're going next. So we have city streets going south. Uh, yes. Let's go south, going into those city streets. That's going to lead to more gilded chests, which is exactly what we're after. Look at that. All right. And then we have a vault here going west. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and pop down here, though. So literally, West was is another one of these rooms. As you can see, two times vault gear. Uh, let's do West for a viewer room. I think that's one of those special rooms. Look at this. Just vault gear? What? Floating or bad? All right, so this next one's gonna be, oh my gosh, north. Literally gilded chest times four, not to mention we have gilded chests. That's gonna be something crazy. They're already spawning in the hallways. Oh man, the amount of vault diamonds that I'm going to potentially get from this might end up being enough vault diamonds to prep us to, like, to, to literally unlock our next mod that I want to unlock. I wonder if we're going to have enough time to literally finish this vault though. Like, because you can beat this vault. You see the build a vault section? Like, I do have the ability to literally complete the vault. All right, let's see what our next room's gonna be. A spider nest or a viewer room? Ooh, let's do west. I like those viewer rooms. I know it's extending the time on me, but I can always get that down the next few rooms. Now we still have a timer before we can even activate anything, so I'm not super concerned. I still want to try and get as many gilded chests out of here as possible. Oh my gosh, and this is the room we get for the viewer room? Excuse me? We get the Simon Says room. I am just mind blown right now. The amount of luck. Let's drop down and do this bad boy. Okay, it's double this, and then double this, and then bump da da. Wow, 
Wow. Can't make these things up. This is just too much. Too much. All right, let's see what our next room has in store for us. So we have uh, plus 30 seconds, plus five. Let's do West. Not gonna really modify her. It's gonna put us at a spider nest, which isn't the greatest room in the world. All right, so let's see what our next room's gonna be after this one. So we have Pirate Coves. Uh, that's gonna take us down on lock time, I think. Probably a good idea to take us down on lock time. All right, so this is our room. Now we just gotta wait out our timer. All right, vote time is up. We have Dragon's Lair, we have plus one minute, and we also have Biomes. I mean, sorry. I'm here for Vault Diamonds. So we are going west with that Dragon Lair. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go again. All right, well, I was able to clear out this entire area and get prepared for the next room. We have Vault Gear. Let's do uh, uh, minus five on the lock, West. I think West maybe, <laughs> we keep going West. We have 19 minutes, which is still pretty good on time. Let's see what the next room holds. Ooh, there's Graveyard. All of these are not that great. South is probably the best option. All right, let's see what the next room has to hold. All right, not too much going on here. We have uh, random. If we go random, it could be anything. Let's go south. And let's go random. We're, we're already running low on time, so this might be our last room. Uh, 10 minutes is what I'm giving myself to be able to get back. That should be more than enough time to get back. I think we've definitely maintained uh, all. Uh, yeah, we've definitely made this worthwhile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and look what a random room ended up giving us. Even more gilded chests. Uh, yes, I will take all the gilded chests before we head back. This is so nice. Well, I think at this point, it's time for me to go ahead and make my way back. Well, I have eight minutes. You know what? I just, yeah, I'm going. I'm going out. I'm taking what I got and I'm leaving. I think that was a fantastic vault. Spent so much time, over 30 minutes plus in the vault. And now we get to see what fantastic goodies we got. How many vault diamonds? I know it's gotta be pretty high. 34 vault diamonds. Ooh, that was, that was worth it. We got one key, which was pretty nice. Uh, I know we got a bunch of echo. I've seen a lot of that. We got a bunch of trader cores and statues. I'm still trying to catch up with the statues. Tons of vault gear, by the way. And a uh, pretty decent amount. Look how many echo. Oh my gosh, 13 echo gems. Yeah. We're looking pretty good. Definitely getting back up on our feet with Black Opal as well. And, uh, well, how much vault gear? An entire bag plus half of another bag. <laughs> that luck here is insane. Oh my gosh. I, now I need to see, do I have enough vault diamonds to literally unlock another mod? I have no idea. So after reviewing my vault diamonds, I have enough. I have enough to purchase the mod that I've kind of wanted to purchase. <laughs> and I was looking, uh, do I have the stars? I don't, I was like, oh, I don't have any in my inventory, but we do have a star core right here and we do have uh, technically six more vault diamonds right here, not counting how many we potentially may get from our core. So we may have a little bit more than I, uh, I originally anticipated. So we have all these vault diamonds. Let's take a look at our cores because we do have a few of those resting over here. And do we have anything great? Let's actually head over here to our sorting system. And I like to do this. So this is all bronze. This is repair core, repair core. I like to keep my repair cores, by the way, because they're kind of expensive to make. Uh, vault catalyst, I'll keep idle. Vault dust, definitely. That's five vault dust. Um, vault helmets, all this is junk. Star essence, I don't really need to worry about. Um, more vault dust, chest piece. Vault Helmet and Idol. All right, and a Power Apple, which we don't really need. All of that's going to uh, to this, which is also giving me, if you noticed, well, it was giving me Pandora's boxes. 
All right, so with that, we have the ability to unlock power, but I was also looking, should I wait for Vault Looter? I don't know, Vault Looter is gonna be something that I definitely need. Uh, this basically allows you to void items so long as you have a particular item on you, uh, and it's a really nice way to void said items. But right now I'm using a dank and the dank works really well. Um, and I can even go to using two danks and uh, here soon we're gonna have everything organized anyways. So this will definitely be something for, for sooner than later, for sure. I'm thinking that power is gonna be a, definitely the way to go now. Um, not only is it gonna give us a great source of power, we can also have a battery on us in our head slot that is going to keep this bad boy charged at all times Meaning I don't have to switch between tools anymore, which means I'm going to be able to speed even faster through vaults, hopefully, without having to switch back and forth because I'm worried about running out of power on this bad boy. So, here we go. I am going to be buying a mod. Let's go ahead and throw all 14 of these in here. And let's go ahead and unlock our mod. Not power. I'm not going with power. I'm actually going to be going with building gadgets. Yes, I know it doesn't help in the vault. It's not gonna help in the vault, I know. But it will help me outside the vault and I have been in dire need of Dire Wolf's building <laughs> gadgets. I need this mod. Uh, the exchanging and everything that it can do is just, I mean, yes, I have exchanging tools, but I don't have anything that can help me build larger structures. Everything you've seen here has mostly been done all by hand. Actually, all of this has been done by hand. I don't know what I'm even talking about. All these towers, everything's been done by hand. All the clearing out. Yeah, and so this gadget, the, the dire gadgets, the building gadgets are going to just make things so much easier, I think. Oh, there's always room for power. We'll get power soon, for sure. I just, I, I don't really want to invest into power when all it's going to do is give me a battery. I, I just, it feels so weird going for something that's literally just going to give me a battery. I know it would be nice, but there's got to be a better solution somewhere. I, I don't know. So with all that, let's see about building this thing. It does require a compressed block, uh, an echo pog, which is actually not too bad. Um, and I think we need two of these. So we need, well, technically we need a few of them. So to make the copy paste gadget, it's kind of expensive. It does cost a three times compressed redstone. We should be able to make one of those, I think. I just don't know if I want to make this just yet, but you can see every single one requires a building gadget. So making one building gadget isn't just one. To technically get all four pieces, we would need to make, uh, or sorry, it's one, two, three, yeah, to make all four, we would need four building gadgets in total crafted. <laughs> Uh, because the exchanging gadget requires the building gadget. It's, yeah, it all needs the base tier. I'm not really going to make the destruction gadget. Um, I don't think I have a big need for the destruction gadget. Uh, this was useful in the vaults. Uh, you were able to use it before this update that I'm on. Um, but yeah, no, the main thing I'm interested in right now is just the building gadget and the exchanging gadget. So I do need to make two of these. And like I said, I am going to be doing the ore. And this is really going to help because I can place the ore now with the building gadgets. So this is going to be fantastic. Let's go ahead and make enough for that. And I think that's it for those. There's two echo pogs. Everything else we should have. There's one building gadget. There's the other. And then we just place this in here and make an exchanging gadget. Look at that. Now... By default, uh, I don't I don't know if this is the default, but I like to set one of my keys to G for this. So I have to go into my options, go into controls and building gadgets. And then you can hit category. And you can see all these different things. But the main thing that I want to go into is this right here. The settings menu, which is supposed to be G. Um, so let's see what other things are listed on G. We have open mining gadget settings or settings menu. This is for building gadget and mining gadget. That should work. Building, do, does it not work unless it has power? That could be the thing. Let's charge these up. So this is gonna fill up first and then we'll charge these. Uh, I think it was messed up because I had it set to the mining gadgets. 
So yeah, as you can see, now it works on both tools. So I get the menu that pulls up, and this is the menu that lets you do everything. So I just hold down G, and I get a beautiful menu that lets me adjust my range, and all kinds of cool stuff. Now, how is this gonna help me? Well, I can actually set this to surface, grid, stairs, all kinds, vertical column, and then I can also set my range and all that good stuff. Um, so for example, like on surface, we can change all kinds of in interesting parameters. Uh, but the big one is of course size on the range. So if I go through here um, and I grab, or let's grab Beniatite, for example, I can place one down and just select it as you would. And now you can see, I get this beautiful area here that I can build with. And it doesn't make that awful sound that it was making before. And I can, of course, expand, expand, expand. We are going to grab this pick. And there we go. All I got to do is just keep building up. Just like I'd done before. Except this is so much quieter. So, so much quieter. So let's take a peek over the edge. Look how far up we are. Oh boy, we're almost up to our mob farm in height. That's a lot. The, okay. This is going to end up being a lot of Biniotite going into our system for sure. Oh boy, it's already piling up. Oh man. It was over a thousand, so this has got to be like close to three thousand or so Biniotites. And the Laramar is going to be the same way. Oh boy, we have 5,000 stored up in here. Yeah, this is going to help me so much. Look at this, just all this being placed. I'm placing this now in a massive, massive 5x5 five five here. Of course, it would, be, it would go through a lot more. But, let's go through this again. Oh boy, I hope it's able to mine. Oh yeah, it's missing pieces. That's okay though. Oh man, so much. This is like barely, <sighs> yeah. Man, and just to think, at the start of this pack, we were like struggling to get this much ore. It, it really ramps up midway through for sure. And then you're just like limited by how many vault burgers you get. And now, now we should be pushing what, 5k? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, 6k Laramar. And and just remember, early on, like, that was an issue. That was a thing. Oh my gosh. So what exactly is are these tools going to lead to? Well, I have an area to clear out here. All of this stuff has got to be flattened out. I'm going to be flattening this up. And uh, all of this is going to be nice and cleared out by next episode, for sure. And uh, we have more land to expand to. I need to get my refined storage technically over to here um, under my mob farm because I did roll something that's incredibly painful to watch. Um, and that is the fact that I need over 5,000 rotten flesh. It was actually 8,000 rotten flesh, uh, but it's slowly gone down from running vaults. Um, and yeah, that needs to go all the way back to our spawner that we have in here. And so I do need to run some cabling all the way over to this so that way i can somewhat say hey put carrots in here and then i can say uh over like for example on this um i want to be able to define and, and and turn this on and off and set the specific items using refined storage so that's going to be like the ultimate thing i wish i i probably need to set like a create farm up exclusively for carrots exclusively for this system um, to run like a, a rather big carrot farm um, or some sort of farm that runs off a of bone mill. I don't know. We'll have to figure out exactly what to do here um, or maybe something I can stand at and the carrot farm gets farmed automatically while standing here. Um, so that way this can consistently run because uh, that's the only way I'm going to be able to do this. But yeah, I also want to clear out the land just so way uh, so this can be nice and uh, and flat looking. And that's where these uh, building gadgets are going to really come into, into play. So, for example, if I need dirt, so if I grab dirt um, right here, I can use this exchanging tool. Instead of breaking all of this stone, which is such a pain, I can do this, 
set my surface range, max it out, and watch. All of that gets replaced with dirt and just makes my life so much easier. And the same goes for building. Like, uh, what if I want to take this area and I want to make it a little bit larger? I can just expand this and then bam, this whole area gets filled with dirt instead of me having to place it all by hand. Oh, just so much nicer. So, so much nicer to be able to do that. Well, guys, with all that being said, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that's going to go to Leon Flame. Thank you for your amazing support. Of course, guys, you have been absolutely amazing throughout this series, and I hope you guys are still enjoying this. And of course, seems like you are with all the thumbs up you guys are giving this video or these videos. And I really do appreciate you guys for watching and clicking that subscribe button. All of you guys have clicked that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And of course, guys, more content to come. Of course, you have nothing to worry about. I like to spit out this content uh, as quick as I possibly can. Of course, I'm still human, so there are days that I, I do have to miss it from time to time. But of course, guys, I appreciate it. Click that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. And of course, I will see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.